happy new year people and welcome back to my channel i'm so excited you're here as you can see today we are working on cleaning my pantry it was quite messy and this being the second week okay this was the second week of january when i did this and in fly lady land in the second week of the month we focus on zone two which is the kitchen so in this week i decided to just focus on the pantry because it was very messy now here i had gone to look for the containers because i was looking for something that was affordable and that looked great i loved these ones by ken polly they're really pretty and they have such a great variety of colors here I was in Kafu. they had really nice ones but they didn't have the colors that i wanted which was white and black so these ones that i have here i eventually got them at naivas same price there was no big difference actually so yeah you can get all those lovely colors at naivas or kafu and yeah i bought six pieces two of each size yeah so i was really really happy that i managed to get them that's really affordable then i got this container for spaghetti and these two baskets these ones i bought them at house of leather I wasn't so satisfied with the container for spaghetti but it was the best i could find so i just decided to go with it the first thing i did was to clean my new containers because you know they were from the shop so yeah they really needed some cleaning up and if you like this kind of content don't forget to subscribe on this channel we're all about organizing prioritizing and budgetizing at home so in this video I was focused on organizing my pantry and also I like doing things in an affordable way that anyone just to show you guys anyone can do this I mean these things are from Naivas and, and 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 they were quite good I can't complain in house of leather so yeah I didn't break my back my bank or my back so yeah I, I was just cleaning them before I got to organizing the pantry. They're really nice. They have by Ken Polly, so by Kenya, build Kenya when possible. <laughs> so yeah, this is it. Looking very nice. I was really happy that I got them. Then the next thing was to remove uh everything from the pantry oh my it was so messy just to clear everything wipe the shelves before i started arranging again it was also time to do a declutter because there was so much in that pantry that was just not, not supposed to be there so it was it was a nice project to do i did it all in one afternoon after my kids had woken up from their nap and they were playing outside I already done my morning routine in the fly lady system so I had a uh, free time it took me about two and a half hours to do this whole project my dinner was already made because as you know we batch cook here we cook food for a month in one day so I wasn't worried about making dinner for the kids so I was able to focus on the pantry for a, a good chunk of time If you don't have a house help, I would highly, highly recommend using the Fly Lady system and also going a step further to do batch cooking. Even if you have a house help, I think it's really nice, as we have said on this channel, to just take control of your own home. So this is the mess that was my pantry. After I finished cleaning the shelves, I was putting things away. As you can see, I decided to use a small basket for storing spices. I really wanted to make sure that everything in the pantry had its own home. I didn't want any floating things. 
any ufos you know unidentified floating objects in my pantry i did not want that so i really wanted to make sure that i had a home for everything then i was also cleaning up the old containers that we had because we're still in good some of them are still in good condition they just needed to be cleaned up and that's what i was doing here the flare lady system is really really great and i will always remind my viewers that because it really helps you to take control of your home in an easy way where you don't have to you don't have to clean your whole house for a whole three days you just clean bit by bit and eventually your house keeps getting cleaner and cleaner because you guys know that i i did a makeover of my kitchen about two months ago and my pantry was still looking that messy and i was very okay with it because fly lady encourages us to just be comfortable with doing a bit at a time so as much as my pantry used to bother me i just knew i would get to eat one day and yeah so it really gives me the freedom to do to clean up bit by bit which is really nice so what i was doing here is i was wiping my everything that comes in a bottle if you can see this wire basket this is what comes with the freezer it came with our deep freezer but we had to remove it because our deep freezer was full of food as i said we, we batch cook our meals for a month so our deep freezer was like full to the brim so i had to remove the wire basket but it really came in handy because it's great for storing for organizing things that come in bottles like ketchup olive oil cooking oil chili sauce vinegar and all that stuff soy sauce you know yeah so it really comes in handy now here's another hack that i wanted to show you guys i should have taken a close-up of this as you can see i had this small bottle of oil cooking oil that we had bought but i like emptying all my cooking oil into a ketchup bottle like i am doing now because ketchup bottles have that small nozzle on top because so it really helps you to control how much oil you're using as you are cooking so there is a close-up look of how the basket was looking like i was really happy with that so yeah ketchup bottle really helps because sometimes you know the cooking oil comes in such large bottles and when you go to pour into your cooking pan of course it pours too much just gets into into your cooking pan so yeah ketchup bottle is a great hack for cooking oil yeah then i decided to put all my baking equipment in one place my cupcake holders my my baking trays and everything inside the pantry i have a, a black baking tray where i was putting all my baking ingredients like baking powder yeast baking soda you know the coloring that we use as we're making cake cocoa powder so i was putting them all in that baking tray so that when i'm baking all i need to do is to grab that one and i have everything that i need for baking it's, a re it's really nice when everything is in one place really makes work easier so this this tray i got this wooden tray i got from a hometic furniture it's really great because i put all our breakfast things there from margarine hot chocolate peanut butter honey tea leaves you know tea bags coffee and everything it's really nice a home for everything and everything in its place you know yeah this was the moment i was waiting for just putting my grains and wheats and everything into my new containers i was so excited about this and here's another hack for you if you don't want bugs to get into your grains or your wheat or your star or everything like that put a bay leaf or two in each container unfortunately i had run out of bay leaves on this day so i intend to go get more and then once you put a bay leaf because bugs and insects don't like the smell of bay leaves so i'm going to put one or two leaves in each container which is really good it really keeps the place looking i mean really keeps the containers the bugs away from your rice from your wheat flour and all that 
and makes your food last longer. These containers are also really great because their leaves snap shut so well. You can see how much energy I'm using because it really, they close so tightly and that's great because bugs can't enter and it becomes, well, airtight-ish, which is really great because you don't want your food oxidizing there because it will get bad faster. Oh, my pantry is starting to come together. I loved how it was looking so far. If you're enjoying this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet remember to do so i decided to use a bigger basket to put all those things that were left in papers and they, they couldn't find a home so that at least even if things were still in some in bags they were in one place which made them look which made the place look neater i believe as opposed to having bags floating small tiny bags of things just floating in the pantry i hope that makes sense oh you guys i for, i almost forgot to tell you that we started a facebook group called fly lady africa please join in we're just sharing our process and our progress using the fly lady system it's really exciting and it's a public group so don't forget to just go to facebook and join fly lady africa and we're going to be sharing just what they're doing feel free to share where you have reached with the fly lady system if you would like to know more about the Fly Lady system, go to www.flylady.net because she outlines everything that you're supposed to do that day, that week, that month. Like now the habit of the month of January is shining your sink. So it's really nice because you know the more you do something, the more it becomes a habit and it's easier. So like now I can't imagine going to, going to sleep without shining my sink at night or changing my dish clothes or my hand towels. I mean, we change them every day so yeah join the fly lady africa group on facebook don't forget to check out fly lady's website and i'll put a link on where we get amazing hand towels so that you can have many hand towels so that you're able to change them every day because especially in this time of covid we can't afford to be recycling those things hand towels and, and everything yeah so we need to encourage each other on this journey of cleaning our homes and taking back our homes not leaving everything for the house helps to do. Um, yeah, because these are our homes and we're taking back control and we're organizing, budgetizing and prioritizing in our homes and for our families, you know? Yeah, so then I was just finishing up. I think I was almost uh, done with putting everything back in the pantry, but then it was time to give the kids their afternoon snack. We had ran out of fruit at this point in time, so they got some cassava crisps, which they really loved. They're really nice. And yeah, then I got this great fruit bowl from a home and furniture. Normally we would put bananas here, but as I said, we needed to go to the market. So at this point we didn't have any fruits. I normally do my shopping at my kitty market because i feel so conned when i buy fruits in the estate you guys because i know how much these fruits go for in my kitty market in nairobi so i'd rather just wait until a time when i get to wake up early in the morning i'll put a link on my mid planning video and yeah show you guys what i get from my kitty market things are so affordable there you guys there yeah but one has to be willing to yeah go to the market so yeah this was 
this was a great time to just give my pantry a makeover. I just felt like my whole kitchen was coming together. The only thing that I'm left to do is to sort out my shelves because I need to do a deep declutter of my kitchen. And I'll show you guys one of these fine days. I have so many dishes that we don't use. I need to line my shelves. You know, my, what do you call them? My cabinets. Yeah. I had planned to move the deep freezer before i cleaned the floor but i ran out of time because i needed to go shower kids i didn't have a house help at this point so and i still don't have one <laughs> this is my life so i ran out of time so i just decided to clean right here i mean the goodness of my lady is that this can wait until i get a chance to come back to zone two again so that's awesome because my lady gives you the the, the freedom to just do a little bit and then the next month you get to do a little bit more then it was time to change this carton box where we put our potatoes this one we've had it for a while and it was getting old so i needed a smaller one i needed a white one so it can match my new storage boxes but this one was a bit well i'll look for another one let me just say that but this one was good for for now So there we have it. The only thing that was left to do was to shine my sink. And it was an afternoon well spent. I don't like cluttered counters as you know by now. So yeah, it was an, I really enjoyed this project. Didn't take too long. Didn't cost a lot of money actually. And the end, end product which I'm going to show you just now was absolutely worth it. There we have it. My pantry is looking so good if I do say so myself. So neat. It didn't break the bank. Everything has its home. Everything is labeled. We printed the labels at home. Yeah, and all I have to do is to maintain it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you have, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. And I'm so excited for this year. Thank you for watching. And I will see you on the next one.